I, uh, I recently had a really big pregnancy scare in my life. Let's talk about that for a second. Uh, girl was a couple of days late, you know? So we decided to go to Walgreens at four in the morning to do the pregnancy test, which, if you haven't done that recently, that's living. Uh, it's pretty, pretty exhilarating. Give it a shot if you haven't. Uh, but we're going down there, and like she's putting on her coat and her shoes, and she looks at me and she goes, are these shoes going to make me look stupid? And I'm like, we're going to Walgreens at four in the morning to get a pregnancy test? Judgment's going to happen, all right? <laughs> it's going down like that, you know? We can show up in our Sunday best, we're still going to look dumb, all right? <laughs> and so we're going down there, like, she's all jovial, like, cracking up about the whole thing. Like, I'm freaking out. I'm like, we need to figure this out. I need to see if I can still have dreams, okay? See what's, <laughs> see what's going on. And, uh, and we get there, and we're walking through the aisles, and we get the test. And you get on the way home, like, let's just go home, figure this out, see what's going on. And on the way home, she's like, hey, we should stop for some McDonald's breakfast. Really? That's on your mind right now? You go for a sausage biscuit, maybe some hash browns sound good? I'm thinking I go for a flight of stairs, and pair my best kicking shoes, all right? <laughs> and the charade. I got dreams to fulfill, all right? And like, I was extra paranoid because I ended up catching that show, didn't know I was pregnant on Discovery Health. Uh, fuck that show, by the way. I don't know who decided that's an entertaining idea, but it's not. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the show. Basically what it does, it showcases women who show no signs of being pregnant, and then they dump out a kid, and it's a nightmare on television <laughs> for everyone to enjoy somehow. Could you imagine that happening to you, ladies? That's intense. Like, you're going home tonight, you're in the bathroom on the toilet, like, all right, here comes the carne asada, and it's a kid. <laughs> Holy shit. You just crapped 18 years of responsibility. That sucks. I'm mad when it takes more than 20 minutes, you know? I'm just probably like, and like a lot of my friends are having kids now, which is fine. If you have a new kid, just realize not everyone else cares as much. You know what I mean? And here's the thing. Also, if you have a new kid, here's the thing. Once your kid's over a year old, let's go ahead and use years as the age of measurement how old your kid is. Right? Because I'll try to be nice and be like, hey, how old's your baby there? 36 months. I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> Was he nine years old? I don't know. <laughs> to put that third grade math on the spot right now. That's why like, I can't wait to have my own kid so I can have my revenge, you know? Like, hey, hi, hold your baby there. 4,000 days. <laughs> Go screw yourself. Hope you have a calculator.